dear students welcome back for the fifth session of this uh, organic concept that is organic compounds which contain the nitrogen okay so in the previous four different sessions we have studied what amines are and how they has been classified under three different categories based on the nature of the organic group that has been present based on the nature of the functional group that has been present and then based on the symmetricity of the given amine molecule so we have categorized that in the under three different bases after that we have named both the aliphatic as well as the aromatic along with the primary secondary and the tertiary amines in both the iupac system along with the common system so then we have discussed how the amines has been prepared preferably as per the PU2 is concerned, our class 12 is concerned, we are having its preparation for only the primary amines, both the aliphatic as well as the aromatic amines. Okay. So now we will have the properties of these amines. So here properties of those amines means we are having the two different things that is what are the physical properties of that and what are the chemical properties related to that. Okay. So let us have the first physical properties. Physical properties. So let us have first one about the physical behavior or it may be the state. Okay. So usually amines of C1 and C2, usually aliphatic, C1, C2 refers to aliphatic, they are found to be the colorless gases, preferably having the smell of a fish that is a fishy odor usually meat and eat compounds they will have the what nature gaseous nature at room temperature preferably and they will have the unpleasant odor usually they will have the smell like that of fish that is why they are having the fishy odor and c32 up to c8 or c9 we are usually mentioning they are found to be the colorless liquids colorless which one liquids and above C9 are considered to be the colorless solids means the behavior depends upon means the physical behavior or the physical state depends upon the which one number of carbon atoms that has been present in the given amine. the first two members will have the gaseous nature from C3 to C8 or C9 sometimes it may be they are found to be the colorless liquids and then above c9 are usually considered to be the which one the solids and if it is aromatic amines amine, amines of aromatic nature usually they are found to be the same what nature the colorless solids at room temperature usually aniline the best example but on exposing to a on exposure to a it turns to colored it becomes colored because of the atmospheric oxidation in forming respective quinones we are called usually they turns to light brown first and further exposure to it they forms a oxygenated compounds of hydrocarbon that is preferably the quinones means usually at room temperature when they are closed in nature they are going to be the what in nature they are the colorless sorry it is not uh, solids here it is a colorless liquid sorry colorless liquids but on exposing to air instead of opening the bottles if I just uh, sorry if name instead of closing the glass bottles of containing the aromatic amines if they gets opened our atmospheric oxidation takes place to form a colored substances in the form of which one the quinones okay then about the solubility usually Lower aliphatic, only the aliphatic amines, they are found to be soluble in water because they involved in the intermolecular HB, HB means it is called as bonding due to the intermolecular hydrogen bonding with respect to the water molecules. So then the higher members higher aliphatic members and then the aromatic amines also 
they are found to be insoluble in water insoluble is due to the absence of which one intermolecular hydrogen bonding IMHB means it is called as intermolecular hydrogen bonding and also the solubility with respect to primary amines is greater than compared to that of secondary is greater than compared to that of which one the tertiary why because if it is RNH2 for example what is it primary amine it can have the hydrogen bonding with three H2O molecules three H2O molecules H2O molecules with respect to secondary amines R N R dash with H lone pair of electrons so here this can have only the two hydrogen bondings here it is having only the two hydrogen bondings here in case of primary amines we are having the three hydrogen bonds has been present and in case of this R and R dash R double dash an example for tertiary amine again due to the presence of lone pair of electrons we are having the hydrogen bonding only one with the one water molecules means the extent of intermolecular hydrogen bonding increases or sorry decreases from primary to secondary amine secondary amine to which one the tertiary amines that is why the solubility of the primary amines is found to be the extensive as compared to that of secondary followed by which one the tertiary because we are expecting the three hydrogen bonds with respect to a primary amine two hydrogen bonds with respect to two molecules of water in case of secondary amines and only one hydrogen bonding with respect to one hydrogen water molecule in case of tertiary amines therefore the solubility decreases from which to which primary to secondary to and then this one also higher members means as a size of which one alkyl group as a size of r group increases molecular mass increases therefore the solubility with respect to water goes on decreasing why because the intermolecular hydrogen bonding goes on decreasing means as a size of the alkyl group goes on increasing no doubt the molecular mass goes on increases means the expansion takes place if the expansion takes place means the intermolecular the space availability for the formation of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding goes on what decreasing that is why the solubility in water in water also goes on decreasing means usually lower members of the amines are found to be soluble in water but they are so insoluble in water if it is of higher members and also they are usually soluble in means organic compounds are usually soluble in which one the the best solvent that is the organic solvents maybe in the form of ether or it may be the alcohol or it may be the benzene whatever it may be okay also now the last one is about the boiling point boiling point so usually carboxylic acids will have the higher boiling point compared to that of alcohols is having higher boiling point compared to that of ammonia is having more boiling point compared to that of the respective hydrocarbons means here we are having the amines here amines amines will have the higher boiling point compared to that of respective hydrocarbon of comparable masses why because as if it is involved in the which one intermolecular hydrogen bonding what i have mentioned here so not here this one okay sorry it is not this it is the intermolecular hydrogen bonding with respect to which one the primary amines preferably and then we will have the secondary and then the tertiary after that we will have the discussion first due to the intra sorry it is not inter uh, this one it is intermolecular hydrogen bonding with respect to this another primary amine molecule okay but we know that this also have the intermolecular hydrogen bonding because we know that uh, oxygen is more electronegative compared to that of which one nitrogen therefore usually the hydrogen bonding is going to be more in case of oxygen compounds for example which and which carboxylic acids and then the alcohols that is why carboxylic acids and alcohols will have the higher boiling point compared to that of ammonia um, amines and then amines will have the higher boiling point compared to that of respective what carbons hydrocarbons as usual the same thing the extent of hydrogen bonding again 
primary amines will have greater compared to that of this and followed by this usually which will have the higher boiling point here it is due to the primary amines why because they can have the three hydrogen bonding because two hydro sorry two hydrogens are present and then the lone pair of electrons therefore we can expect the three intermolecular intermolecular hydrogen bonding in case of primary amines and two in case of tertiary amines and only one in case of tertiary amines that is why the boiling point means more the intermolecular hydrogen bonding means more is the which point boiling point means the similarly the size of the alkyl group increases means the boiling point also goes on increasing means increase in molecular mass usually increases the which point the boiling point okay so this is about the what the physical properties related to the which one amides okay so next we'll move on to the chemical properties <coughs> under that chemical properties the most important concept is about its basic nature basic nature or basicity of amines chemical properties Another the first one is basic nature of amines. Basic nature of which one? Amines. So here amines are not only regarded as the Levis base. Levis base. But also considered to be the Lori Bronsted base means amines are considered to be the basis. Whatever basis they are, it is found to be an example for a Lewis base because because the lone pair or a nitrogen atom is available for donation. The first thing. Means they are simply called as electron pair donors. Why they are electron pair donors? Because the lone pair of electrons situated are present on the which atom? Nitrogen atom makes the electron donor nature. That's why it is an example for a what base? Lewis base. And then it is an example for a Lori Bronsted base because it can accept a proton H plus to form respective cations respective which one cations because as if the amines are going to be the neutral because it is not a charge but it is an example for a base okay but it is an example for a neutral nucleophile and hence due to the presence of lone pair of electrons and that one it will have the capacity of accepting the which one proton that is why it is acting as the lorry bronze state base okay so here r and h2 as if we know that containing the lone pair of electrons when this is meet to react with, for example, any acids, as we have proved that it is not only an example for a Lewis base, but also an example for a what base? Lori Bronsted base. Therefore, they can form a salt of the type. What is that? RNH3 plus with X minus. Means they form a respective salt. As if this we know that HX is an hydracid. Maybe a nitric acid or a sulfuric acid or it may, whatever it may be. I don't know about that. Acid forms a salt with the acid means it is an example for a which one? Base. And that is preferably maybe in the form of either a levy. Preferably here it is considered to be an example for a lorry bronsted base because it has accepted a proton. Okay. Then this salt that has been formed. When it is treated with a strong base like either NaOH or it may be the KOH, it releases, there is a separation of that that is removed in the form of NaX plus H2. Means the salt here it is, here it is a base. Means it takes away the proton. As it leaves a proton means with respect to a base that is NaOH that is why it helps in the recovery of the original ammonia that has been formed. In addition to that in aqueous medium 
which medium it is aqueous medium it ionizes partially as that itself shows that it is an example for a weak base why because it under what i know ionization partial ionization that is rnh2 that has been present now dissolves are reacts with water that has been present in the aqueous medium as if we know that it contains a lone pair of electrons and that that is why it form rnh3 plus plus oh minus means there exists an equilibrium between the rnh2 water and then the rnh3 plus and then the oh minus means in terms of partial ionization now applying the law of mass action lma to the above equilibrium because as it is a partial ionization means it is a reversible reaction reversible reaction refers to the which one concept of equilibrium okay so here k is equal to kc for example what is case here it is the equilibrium constant now it is only the equilibrium constant product divided by which one reactant that is r in h3 plus into oh minus divided by r in h2 with h2 ah if i shift here this one kc into h2o is equal to as usual r in h3 plus into oh minus divided by r in h2 ah the product of because as if you know that the water concentration is constant because it is very very poor electrolyte and the extent of ionization is just only 10 to the power of minus 7 that is why it remains almost constant therefore the product of these two is called by another one that is called as kb now this is equal to r in h3 plus into oh minus divided by r in h2 here kb is called Either the equilibrium constant R, dissociation constant R, ionization constant of a weak base that is called as amides. Higher the value of OH minus means more the OH minus concentration means more the OH minus concentration means as the OH minus concentration increases. Amine concentration goes on decreasing. Why? Because KB is constant. If that be the case, RNH2 remains the constant, means OH minus concentration decreases this, therefore the value of KB goes on increases. As the value of KB increases, means PKB goes on decreases because PKB is equal to what? Negative log of which one? K to the base 10. Higher the value of KB, lesser is the this one, means more is the <coughs> basic strength of the given, which one? Amines. Means the strength or the basic strength of amine is decided by either the which value or which value. Either the KB value or it may be the PKB value. Either we should have the higher value of KB or lesser value of which one? PKB means more is the basic strength of that particular amine. Means more is the what concentration? OH minus concentration. Okay. So this is one concept where we are deciding amines are found to be what in nature? Basic in nature. Okay. Now this basic nature now is decided by another two different factors. Solvation effect then the inductive effect and then the steric hindrance. As if we have already mentioned, amines are not only considered to be an example for a Lewis base, but also an example for a proton tending capacity that is indirectly called as Lewis base, sorry, Laurie Brownstein concept. Okay. Now, this basic nature is decided by either the inductive effect and then the solvation effect and then the steric hindrance okay so let us compare the first one alkyl amines are 
more basic than ammonia we have to prove now all elements are what more basic compared to that of which one ammonia that is r n h h lone pair of electrons h n h h lone pair of electrons this is a general formula for primary amines usually aliphatic amines where r is an alkyl group and here ammonia no doubt both are basic in nature ammonia and then the amines are because it contains already the lone pair of electrons but we know that <coughs> r is alkyl group alkyl group means it is electron releasing group electron releasing group means it is exhibiting the plus i effect positive inductive effect as our alkyl is an electron releasing means it pushes the electron towards which atom nitrogen atom such that the electron density on the nitrogen atom goes on increasing as the electron density on the nitrogen atom goes on increasing means whatever the proton so, uh, electron donating capacity that also increases as the electron donating capacity increases means the basic strength also goes on increases therefore the presence of alkyl group which is an example of a electron releasing group exerts one effect plus i effect exerts what effect plus i effect positive inductive effect increases the electron density on the nitrogen atom it increases the what density electron density on the nitrogen atom which increases the electron donating capacity or nature and hence increases the which strength basic strength of which amines alkyl amines that is why we are deciding what is young greater than what alkyl amines are always what basic more basic compared to that of respective ammonia why because in alkyl group the r group called as alkyl group is electron releasing as it is electron releasing means it exerts a what effect positive inductive effect if it exerts a positive inductive effect means whatever the nitrogen electron density or the electron density on the nitrogen atom goes on increasing as the electron density on the nitrogen atom increases means the electron donating or the donating capacity or ability also goes on increases that is why it is found to be the what nature more basic okay <coughs> in gaseous phase for various alkyl amines various <laughs> alkyl amines in gaseous phase it is not in involved in the which one the uh, aqueous medium r n h h lone pair of electrons r n r h lone pair of electrons r n r r lone pair of electrons primary amine secondary amine and then the tertiary amine okay what this says the various types of aliphatic amines preferably the alkyl amines primary alkyl amine secondary alkyl amine and then the tertiary alkyl amines in every case the nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons that is why it is having a electron donating capacity and hence it is considered to be the levy space now whether they are equally basic or different here as if we know that it depends upon the nature of the which one electron releasing capacity this is having one electron releasing group such that its electron density increases by for example one unit in terms of mathematical concept so here we are having a two electron releasing group here and here such that the electron get density gets get doubled compared to the primary similarly as if we are having the three electron releasing this is also electron releasing this is also electron releasing this is also electron releasing therefore what's that still gets increased means as the number of alkyl groups around the nitrogen atom in alkyl amines increases as the number of what groups alkyl groups around the nitrogen atom goes on increasing plus i effect goes on increases 
as a plus i effect increases means electron density on nitrogen atom goes on increases electron donating capacity also goes on increases and hence basic nature also also increases therefore tertiary alkyl amines are more basic than secondary alkyl amines are more basic than lastly primary alkyl amines why the tertiary alkyl amines are more basic here because in tertiary alkyl amine it is surrounded by how many electron releasing groups three as we are having the three electron releasing groups means the what is the net electron density of the nitrogen atom it's very very high but in case of this one we are having the two here in case of primary we are having only one therefore more the electron releasing group more is a what effect plus i effect more the plus i effect means more is electron density on the nitrogen atom and hence more is the what capacity electron donating capacity more the electron donating capacity means more is the what nature basic strength of that one therefore in only the what phase i am asked, telling here over the gh space okay so let us have the same thing in the aqueous phase basic nature of amines in the what phase here the aqueous phase <clears throat> in aqueous medium or phase it is influenced by two different effects called as solvation effect that solvation is in particular water if i had chosen it is hydration effect and another one is the steric hindrance are the effect if i choose the what medium aqueous medium okay so as if we know that the primary amines will have the more hydration compared to that of secondary followed by which one tertiary because here one two and then the lone pair of electrons three intermolecular hydrogen bond we can expect means more is the hydration hydration is in case of what hydration of amines is of the order primary greater than secondary greater than which one tertiary but steric hindrance also steric hindrance is more in case of this and this and this okay in addition to that the basic nature by choosing ch3 as alkyl group is of the order dimethyl amine is more basic than methyl amine is more basic than trimethyl amine this is dimethyl amine a refers to amine here this is methyl amine a refers to amine this is called a trimethyl amine an example for a secondary an example for a primary and example for a tertiary in case of the gaseous form what we have mentioned tertiary amines are more basic why because there is only the what effect there inductive effect but in case of the aqueous medium we are observed the two different effects could not only the solvation hydration but also the what space availability around the nitrogen atom goes on decreasing but we have to balance both of this not only the electron density is the much condition it is having the steric hindrance or the space availability and that depends upon the what effect solvation effect so on that basis by choosing the r is equal to methyl group as a substituent so here dimethyl amine is more basic than compared to that of methyl amine followed by the what trimethyl amine so here if i select for example the choose of ethyl group as alkyl c to h5 here the order is just little bit different here diethyl amine is more basic than 
ट्राई ईथाइल अमाइन इज मोर बेसिक दैन देन द ईथाइल अमाइन दिस इज डाई ईथाइल अमाइन दिस इज ट्राई ईथाइल अमाइन नॉट मीथाइल इट इज ईथाइल दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ईथाइल अमाइन so here it is an example for a secondary here it is an example for a tertiary here it is an example for a primary that's a much difference here there it is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary the order is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary if it is what aqueous sorry gaseous phase if it is aqueous means it depends upon the nature of the what group alkyl group whether you have to choose the ethyl group or it may be the ethyl group So as if we know that ethyl group will have the more bulkiness, okay. So on that basis, we can have the more of the hydration is possible. So are less. First, in case of methyl group, the hydration is found to be more. Whereas in case of ethyl, the hydration effect gets decreased because the alkyl group becomes larger. Therefore, we are having some disturbance because we have to consider all the three different effects. Not only the inductive effect, but also the <coughs> solvation or it may be the hydration effect but also and the finally it depends upon the space availability around the nitrogen atom to accept a proton that is indirectly called as what effect steric effect or steric hindrance on that basis if i choose the methyl amines or methyl group as an alkyl group then the order is dimethyl amines are more basic compared to that of methyl amines are more basic compared to that of trimethyl amine which is in, in the order secondary greater than primary greater than which one tertiary suppose if i choose ethyl group as a substituent or an alkyl group the order is diethyl amine is more basic compared to that of triethyl amine is more basic than that of ordinary the ethyl amine why even though it is found to be this because it is having the more of the water steric hindrance why because it get extensively hydrated or it is also called as solvated more the solvation or hydration means the space availability is going to be the what less on that basis ethyl amine will have the least basic character if it is in what medium aqueous medium okay so this is the total explanation related to the which one the basic nature of amines okay amines are not only considered to be the lewis base because they are having the capacity of electron donating because of the presence of the lone pair of electrons in the water atom nitrogen atom in addition to that it is also considered to be the lori bronsted base because it is having the capacity of accepting a proton so here during the accepting of a proton means we should have the space availability that the space availability is decided by the first one is the solvation effect or indirectly it is called as which one the steric uh, hydration effect and that solvation or hydration makes the space availability either more or it may be the less if the space availability around the nitrogen is going to be the less means it leads to the what effect steric effect on that basis strictly in case of the gaseous amines we are having the order is tertiary greater than secondary is greater than primary that is fixed but if i take the what medium aqueous medium it depend upon the nature of the what group alkyl groups if methyl group is a case then we are choosing in aqueous medium as dimethyl amine is more basic than compared to that of methyl amine followed by the trimethyl amine whereas if i choose the ethyl group as a substituent or an alkyl group diethyl amine is more basic than triethyl amine is more basic than ordinary what ethyl ordinary ethyl amine okay so this is about the what relative basic nature with respect to the aliphatic amines now we will move on to the the same basic character with respect to which one <coughs> the aromatic amines and then the ammonia aromatic amines and then the ammonia next is aryl amines are more basic than ammonia previously what you have just uh, sorry aryl amines are less basic previously alkyl amines are what basic more basic compared to that of ammonia whereas here aryl amines are what basic less basic compared to that of which one the ammonia so let us have the the best example related to the aryl amines is which one this is aryl amine called as benzene amine 
that benzenamine is also having the same uh, sanctioned IUPAC name of which one? Adeline. Or commonly it is called by another name, what is that called? Phenylamine. Phenylamine. Compared with respect to ammonia now. So here we know that this is electron releasing group. This is electron release, the withdrawing, phenyl group is electron withdrawing. Due to, so what it shows here, with respect to NH2, phenyl group is an example for an electron withdrawing. Due to electron withdrawing nature of C6H5 group, that is called as phenyl group. It exerts minus I effect. There, alkyl group exerts a what? Plus I effect. But here it exerts a what? Minus effect. Or also due to plus M effect of NH2 group. What are possible here? Because this electron releasing group is delocalizing towards the what nucleus? The benzene nucleus. Therefore, I can mention that with respect to NH2, phenyl group is an electron withdrawing. With respect to the benzene and the phenyl group, NH2 is an example for electron releasing. Whatever it may be, the net electron density on nitrogen atom goes on decreasing. Goes on what? Decreasing. Which decreases the electron donating nature uh, which decreases the H plus accepting what is H plus accepting also called as proton accepting nature and hence decreases the basic nature of aryl amines which I mentioned is aryl amines that is why aryl amines are what basic Less basic compared to that of which one? Ammonia. Alkyl elements are more basic compared to that of ammonia, whereas aryl elements are less big. Therefore, we can generally mention that as alkyl amines are more basic compared to that of ammonia is more basic compared to that of aryl amines. Okay? Because here we are having the two different effects. What are considered to be the same with respect to the nitrogen lone pair of electrons and then the proton accepting. One is phenyl group is an example for an electron withdrawing. Therefore, it exerts a minus I effect. In addition to that, oppositely, the NH2 group is now an example for an electron releasing. Therefore, it exhibits the positive mesomeric effect or resonance effect. So, both these makes the net electron density on the nitrogen atom gets decreased. Due to the decrease in the electron density on the nitrogen atom, the electron donating capacity also goes on decreasing. As the electron donating capacity or the electron density is found to be less means the proton accepting capacity also goes on decreasing. That is why it decreases the basic strength with respect to which one? The aryl amines. Therefore, alkyl amines are always more basic compared to that of ammonia and finally the last one is found to be the aryl amines. So here, in case of this one, tertiary is greater than, secondary is greater than primary. Again, the same explanation that we have already discussed in case of that. Okay. Also, presence of, presence of, Electron releasing group to aniline. Presence of electron withdrawing to aniline. Suppose if this is the case, what is that? If electron releasing groups are present, increases the basic nature, decreases the basic nature. Means electron withdrawing means it withdraws means the net electron density goes on decreasing. Therefore, electron withdrawing substituent to aniline also decreases the basic nature, whereas the electron releasing group increases the basic nature with respect to the substituted aniline. Okay. Also, 
एनी ई आर जी आर ई डब्ल्यू डी जी ई आर जी आर ई डब्ल्यू जी इलेक्ट्रॉन रिलीजिंग और इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ ड्रॉइंग एट ऑर्थो पोजिशन ऑलवेज डिक्रीज द बेसिक स्ट्रेंथ एंड दिस इज ड्यू टू द and that effect is called as ortho effect it is done so previously in the carboxylic acid what i have mentioned any electron releasing or electron withdrawing group at ortho position of benzoic acid always increases the acidic character of that particular aromatic acids whereas the same electron releasing or maybe electron withdrawing at the ortho positions always decreases the what nature basic nature so if that be the case we can decide that it is bound to be the basic strength also goes on decreasing and that effect is called as what effect ortho effect so here the exam explanation for that one is or the not explanation here the order is it depends either it may be the electron releasing or it may be the electron withdrawing okay so the para amines are found to be the more basic compared to that of meta and finally the ortho if it is or sorry para is greater than ortho is sorry para is greater than meta is greater than ortho and the other one is meta is greater than para is greater than ortho so here electron releasing here electron withdrawing in both the cases what the ortho is having less basic why because of the what effect ortho effect means either it is an electron releasing or electron withdrawing preferably at the what positions ortho positions always decreases the basic nature with respect to the aromatic amines called as aniline okay in case of electron releasing usually para because electron releasing favors ortho and para positions because as if ortho is at the last means we can have to choose of the para will have the dominance therefore para is greater than meta is greater than ortho what the electron will draw which prefer prefers only the meta position therefore the meta substituted aniline is going to be the more basic compared to that of para and finally the last one due to the what effect ortho effect ortho substituted or electron withdrawing substituted always decreases the what strength basic strength of the aromatic amines okay so this totally completes the relative basic nature of amines comparing the alkyl amines with ammonia and then the aryl amines with the ammonia again alkyl amines in that we are having the two different three different amines primary secondary and tertiary we have chosen that separately in the form of either the gaseous nature or it may be the aqueous nature and similarly here in case of the which one the aryl amines aryl amines are always less basic compared to that of the ammonia and in addition to that the presence of a substituent whether it may be releasing or it may be the withdrawing usually electron releasing always increases the basic strength of aryl amines whereas the electron withdrawing group always decreases the this one whereas in case of any ortho substituted electron releasing or electron withdrawing it is always found to be the least basic and that effect is called as aryl amines and also we have to know another thing r alkyl amines amines are always more basic compared to that of aryl amines the difference between them is if amino group is directly attached to the nucleus means it gets a delocalized due to the plus m effect therefore it the electron density gets decreased suppose if the same nh2 or the amine group is attached to the side chain of that it exert only the plus i effect plus i effect always increases the what nature uh, basic nature therefore we can decide that in general benzyl amine is more basic than aniline why benzyl amine is more basic here because benzyl amine means benzyl group is r alkyl group therefore it exerts a positive interference effect therefore benzyl amines are more basic compared to that of which one aniline but as per the syllabus is concerned you have to concentrate much on why alkyl amines are more basic than ammonia and why aryl amines are more basic compared to that of ammonia just in two sentences we can explain that in alkyl amines the alkyl group as electron is electron releasing it exerts what effect positive inductive effect due to the positive inductive effect what happens the net electron density on the nitrogen atom goes on increasing due to that what happens the no, electron donating capacity goes on increases and hence increases the what nature basic nature similarly aryl amines are less basic compared to that of ammonia why because in what aryl amines the phenyl group exerts a minus i effect 
or indirectly the NH2 group exerts the plus M effect minus I effect and plus M effect. Minus I effect is with respect to what group? Phenyl group and then the plus M effect is due to the NH2 group. Both decreases the what density? Electron density on the what atom? Nitrogen atom and hence it decreases the electron donating capacity and hence it decreases the what strength? Basic strength. Therefore, the array elements are more basic, sorry, less basic compared to that of ammonia. And in case of alkyl amines, we have to choose primary, secondary, and tertiary. And we have to bifurcate that as gaseous or aqueous. If it is gaseous, the order is what? Tertiary greater than, secondary greater than, primary. Okay. In aqueous medium, it depends upon the nature of the alkyl group. If alkyl group, methyl group is taken, the order is what? Secondary is greater than, primary is greater than, tertiary. If ethyl group is taken, the order is secondary is greater than, tertiary is greater than, last one is the primary. Okay. So, and finally, our alkyl amines are more basic compared to that of aryl amines or indirectly the best example that we have chosen is benzyl amines are more basic compared to that of which one? The aniline. Okay. So, this is about the first property, chemical property with respect to amines that is called as the basic nature of amines. Okay. So, the rest of the chemical properties that we will discuss in the next session of this particular chapter that is amines. Okay. So, thank you.